Hi there, Professor Schimmeld with a demonstration on how to run the oxidase test. This is a test that is going to determine the presence or the absence of an enzyme called cytochrome C. We typically use this test to differentiate between two very large families of gram-negative bacilli, family uh, Pseudomonaceae and family Enterobacteraceae. Um, now, here's how we do the test, at least in our laboratory. We are going to use um, a half of a Petri plate just as a, a dish to run the test in. And inside of this uh, dish, I have a little uh, um, oxy strip, which is just a piece of filter paper that was soaked in COVAX solution and allowed to dry. Now, I am not using any live organism for this demonstration. That's why I don't have a coat or gloves on. Uh, and I will show you a, um, I'll, I'll insert a photograph at the end of the video showing you a positive reaction. But here's how you would do the test. So this is just a TSA slant um, with no organism on it just to, to use for this demo. All right, first thing I want to do is uh, using a clean pipette, really doesn't need to be sterile, I'm going to add one drop of water to the oxy strip. No more than that or you're going to dilute the COVAX uh, reagent and it's not going to work correctly. Um, then what I would do is I need a sterile swab for this test so I'm going to uh, open my package up and then I would um, um, if there was really microorganism on here I would flame the the lip of the tube, get my swab out, remove um, some of the organism from the slant, blame the lip of the tube again, replace the cap. And then what I would do is I would um, kind of hold on to the oxy strip with one gloved hand and I would rub the organism, the, the uh, organism on the swab, on the strip and I'm looking for a reaction with 10, within 10 to 20 seconds. And what I'm looking for is the development of a dark blue color, and that could be either on the strip itself, or it may occur um, actually on the swab because capillary action is going to draw the water and the COVAX onto the swab, or maybe both. Uh, but anyways, you've got to look for the reaction with, within 10 to 20 seconds. Anything that happens after 20 seconds really doesn't have any meaning. If you leave these strips sitting out, um, just in the air, they will eventually turn blue. So uh, that's how you run the oxidase test. And then this whole mess gets uh, disposed of in the biohaz can. All right, guys, thanks for watching.